It's ringing. It is ringing. Is that Cam? Yes. Cam is Calvin from, uh, where, where is he? Probably known from YouTube, I suppose. No way. Yeah, you're right, yeah? So you, you've won the G, the G Wiz. <laughs> How do you feel? Today's a Monday and it is a sad day. It's not sad because it's a Monday. It's sad because today is a day that I'm parting with the G Wiz. Over the last few weeks, I've had some great times with this car and I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit emotional. Because on Friday just gone, I announced a winner of the G-Wiz, a subscriber of mine, Cam, from Halifax. Hold on a minute, I just got a message from Cam. He's decided he doesn't want to keep the car. Hmm. Guys, quickly before we get on with this video, a quick shout out to Klarna, who have kindly sponsored this section of today's video. Get Klarna's free to install Google Chrome extension to get automatic coupons and cash back at checkout when shopping at your favorite online stores. Klarna has partnered with over 250,000 merchants to provide the most seamless online experience. Never overpay again with Klarna's automatic coupons. Shop like you normally would and Klarna will automatically find and apply the best coupons and discounts available at checkout. You can also use Klarna's free extension to buy now and pay later on any website or checkout and use one-time cards. Klarna offers different payment options when shopping so you can choose what's most beneficial to you. You can either pay in free, splitting the cost of your purchase into free interest-free payments, or pay in 30 days. Try what you've ordered and pay only when you decide you want to keep it. Interest-free. Klarna also has a slick mobile app that allows you to log in, manage your account, track your purchases, pay in free anywhere, set price alerts on saved items, browse exclusive deals, and earn rewards on every purchase. Yeah, so that's it guys. Click the link in the description below or go to klarna.com forward slash Calvin's car door is add Klarna to any device. How's it going, Cam? Good to meet you, man. All right, met you. Yeah, I'm all right. So you've decided you don't want the G Wiz, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, what's the deal, man? Why don't you want a G Wiz? I don't want to say I don't want it. Hold on. Yeah, let's rewind. Because you, you actually wanted it, didn't you? Yeah, I actually wanted it. I wanted to run about in it and do. You know, I could go to the gym, go to the shops. It's a free. It's a free car. Mm. Well, sort of over the weekend, I've been trying to get insurance quotes. And my insurance is coming back like nearly double the price of my car, what I actually run now. So oh now, man, well, do you know what? And listen, I'm going to be honest with you, yeah? When you yeah. said to me that you wanted to keep it, I was a yeah. bit gutted because I actually want to keep it. <laughs> well, there you go. I was That's thinking, name, but obviously, we've got, to, we've got to try and agree something. So I'm guessing you so you want to sell it, yeah? So, what we've got to work out a, a price, isn't it? So, you're selling me the G Wiz. That's basically what's happening now, yeah? We're doing. I'm, this feels, it feels a bit weird. I'm selling you before I even, even touched it. <laughs> You're selling me my G Wiz. How much do you want for it? 750. That's fine, I'll give you 750 for it. I can't believe this. So the G Wiz is staying with me now, and I've got a few ideas for it firstly, but secondly, I need to, need to show you lot the problems that I'm having with it. Then guys, my new G, I say new G was it ain't my new G was it was already mine, kind of, but it was Cam's for a little bit. But yeah, bit of a confusing situation. Shout out to Cam for selling me the car back because one, it was an absolute bargain at 750 quid, and two, I genuinely do want to hang on to this car because the previous video has done really well. Everyone seems to love the G Wiz, and I'm actually quite excited about doing a bit more content on it. I've got a few ideas for it. Not to say that I can make them happen, because I still need to do a bit of research, but do let me know in the comments below what you think I should do with it. I will give you some hinters uh, in a sec, but we're gonna go for a little wonder around it before we do that, all right? So, uh, funny enough, last night I was uh, watching Fifth Gear on telly, right? And this exact car was on Fifth Gear last night. I'll try and put a screen recording over uh, over the video now. Rory Reed done a little, uh, like an electric car comparison, and this exact car, LK06 JXO, was in an episode of Fifth Gear. So this car's a famous car. It's not just famous on YouTube, it is also famous on telly as well. Let's quickly talk about the ideas I've got for it now, yeah? Uh, so what I've been thinking is maybe, maybe, if I can sort it out, get it vinyl wrapped. I've got some colour ideas. I'm not going to give too much away, but I've got a few ideas for how I want this car to look, firstly. But I did think if I do want to wrap this, is this thing like this going to be a bit of a problem? Got a bit of damage on the rear bumper there, a bit more damage on the corner there as well. 
could do with a little wheel refurb. I know they're only tiny little wheels, but, but yeah, they could do with a refurb. And uh, the other thing that we need to talk about, by the way, let's just admire the interior of this car again. Four seater car, by the way, look, back seats, little tiny steering wheel, handbrake just there, and a JVC head unit. Honestly, the positive vibes I've been getting from everyone about this car, everyone seems to love it. So, uh, the little gear stick up here, look. All these little bits and bobs. Uh, so I've done a range test on this car recently and basically I, I fully charged the car and tried to discover how many miles I could get on this car from a full charge. In fact, let me sit in the car quickly. <laughs> oh my God, it's so cramped in here. Uh, yeah, so I've done a range test on this car. I've done just over 30 miles on a full charge, right? I feel like potentially by doing that range test, I have damaged the battery in this car. I'm not certain. Come on, come on, Jeeves, get us back. <laughs> It's still moving. The motor is still working. The lights are still on. We're down to eight miles an hour now. And the battery is under warranty. I have spoken to the previous, uh, the, the company that I bought it off, Going Green in London. They've said, look, because the temperatures currently are so low, it's really difficult to work on G-Wizards to get accurate readings out of them because these cars, one, were made by an Indian company, but two, because they were made by an Indian company, they were made for Indian climate. So they're not really used to being uh, driven in the freezing cold. It's currently about two or three degrees here in England. And uh, apparently g -Wiz batteries, especially these, these old lead acid batteries, don't really like the cold, okay? So um, what it's basically doing is you put it on charge and it just doesn't charge, right? And in this little leaflet here, I've had a little look through it. It's a very handy leaflet. It's got all the sort of do's and don'ts with uh, g -Wizzes. One of them is, don't uh, <laughs> don't fully flatten the battery, which Calvin done. Something else it also does is it's got a red and orange flashing light on the dash, which basically going back to, yeah, my little uh, instruction manual here, it just says contact going green. And they've just said, Calvin, wait till the temperature picks up and we'll have a look at it, all right? See, this is really confusing because I did contact going green. And what they said to me is, was, Calv, there's a little technique you can do is where you flick the ignition on and off three times and then put the car on charge for an 18 hours straight, right? Which I've done. Uh, since doing that, this red light is now solid on. Uh, the temperature light down here is flashing, but I'm actually managing to fully charge the car now, which I would say is a good sign. So it might not actually be broken, but uh, it's definitely something not quite right with it, is there? Now, if you look back at the little booklet, that temperature light basically just means that it's cold outside. So. I don't think that's a problem either. Now, James at Going Green did also say to me that I should water the battery, which I've tried that as well, which basically means the levels of the battery needs topping up. And uh, yeah, that might have helped it as well. I don't know. It does actually drive, like it's fully empty on the battery, but it, I've managed to drive it around the yard. I don't, don't go out on the road in it because it probably won't get me very far, but I'm able to maneuver it around and it seems to be driving just fine, all right? So it might be nothing. Uh, it could be a faulty charger, it could be a faulty battery. Uh, but one of the things I would love to do to this car, I'm not sure if it's possible, is one, maybe get a new battery for it, but two, what would be amazing is if we could do a lithium ion conversion on it. Obviously one of the biggest pluses to having a lithium ion battery is they hold charge for a lot longer. You can get a lot more miles out of a full charge with a lithium ion battery car than you can with an old lead acid battery car, all right? So it'd be amazing to do like a comparison between lead acid, lead acid and uh, lithium ion. But I don't know how possible that is and I don't know how expensive it's gonna be either. I don't wanna put that out there yet because I don't wanna say that I'm definitely gonna do it, but it could be an option because uh, the lithium ion batteries are in the later cars and they are supposedly a lot better. Well, we all know lithium ion batteries, that's modern technology. All modern electric cars have got lithium ion batteries, so it would be cool if we could do that to this. That's one of the ideas. The other idea, like I say, is maybe wrapping it. But the bottom line is, um, I am very pleased to say that the G-Wiz is now mine again. I am not giving it away. I might do it at some point in time, but right now it's not getting given away for free. I'm going to hang on to it for now. Please let me know in the comments below if you've got any ideas for this car because I am all ears. I want to know, uh, I don't know, I think it's cool, man. It's quite a funny thing. Yeah, congratulations to Cam. I've just sent him his money. He just got 750 quid and uh, I now have my Jeebus back, all right? So we're going to leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe if you're new. Give me a follow on Instagram and see you in the next video. Bye.